Good day to you, mga ka-learners! Welcome back to another lesson. You have learned how to add and subtract positive and negative numbers in lesson 2. Now, you will learn how to multiply and divide positive and negative integers. Let's try to multiply these sets of numbers. Negative 9 and negative 2 and positive 9 and positive 2. To multiply integers with the same sign, we follow these steps. Multiply the absolute value of both integers as normal. Prefix the positive sign. Why positive? Because positive multiplied by positive yields a positive answer. Likewise, negative multiplied by negative also yields a positive answer. Let's apply this to our first example. Step 1. Multiply the absolute value of both integers as normal. That's 9 times 2 equals 18 for either positive 9 and positive 2 or negative 9 and negative 2. Step 2. Add the positive sign to the result since both integers have the same sign. Therefore, our answer is positive 18. Let's look at another example. Try multiplying negative 6 by negative 5. Step 1, 6 times 5 equals 30. Step 2, negative 6 times negative 5 equals positive 30. Did you get it? If you did, that's great. If not, Practice with these examples and have your answers checked by your instructional manager. Let's now try multiplying integers with different signs. Study these examples. Positive 5 times negative 4 equals negative 20. Negative 5 times positive 4 equals negative 20. What happened there? Let's go through how to multiply integers with different signs step by step. To multiply integers with different signs, follow these steps. Multiply the absolute value of both integers as normal. Prefix the negative sign. Why negative? Because a positive multiplied by a negative will always yield a negative result, regardless of order. Let's apply these steps to our example. Step 1, multiply the absolute value of both integers as normal. That's 5 times 4 equals 20. Step 2, prefix the negative sign if the integers have different signs. That's positive 5 times negative 4 equals negative 20. Or negative 5 times positive 4 equals negative 20. Very easy, isn't it? Let's try out on a few more examples. Let's try multiplying negative 7 and positive 4. Step 1, 7 times 4 equals 28. Step 2, negative 7 times positive 4 equals negative 28. Now let's try dividing integers. Remember that division is the inverse or opposite of multiplication. Let's start with these examples. Negative 8 divided by negative 2 equals what? Positive 8 divided by positive 2 equals what? To divide these integers with the same sign, we follow these steps. Divide the absolute values of the dividend and the divisor as normal. Prefix the positive sign. Remember when we multiplied integers with the same signs? The same concept applies when choosing the sign to prefix. This means dividing a positive by a positive or a negative by a negative will still give you a positive result. Now, let's answer our examples. Step 1, divide the absolute values of the dividend and the divisor as normal. That's 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Step 2, prefix the positive sign since both integers have the same sign. Negative 8 divided by negative 2 is positive 4. Positive 8 divided by positive 2 is also positive 4. 
Let's have another example. Positive 12 divided by positive 4 equals what? Negative 12 divided by negative 4 equals what? Solve this with me step by step. Step 1, divide the absolute values of both numbers as normal. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Step 2, prefix the positive sign. Positive 12 divided by positive 4 equals positive 3. Negative 12 divided by negative 4 equals positive 3. Let's now try our hands at dividing integers with different signs. To divide these integers with different signs, we follow these steps. Divide the absolute values of the dividend and the divisor as normal. Prefix the negative sign. Again, the concept we looked at when multiplying integers with different signs applies. This means dividing a negative by a positive or a positive by a negative gives us a negative answer. Let's try it with this example. Negative 24 divided by positive 8 equals what? Step 1, divide the absolute value of the integers as normal. That's 24 divided by 8 equals 3. Step 2, prefix the negative sign since the integers have different signs. Negative 24 divided by positive 8 equals negative 3. Let's look at another example. Try this with me. Positive 32 divided by negative 4 equals what? Step 1, 32 divided by 4 equals 8. Step 2, positive 32 divided by negative 4 equals negative 8. Got it? Great! If not, practice some more with the examples in the matching lesson when you log into your LMS account. Have your instructional manager check your answers. Before we end this lesson on multiplication and division, let's remember what we just learned. To multiply integers, we follow these steps. Multiply the absolute value of both integers as normal, Prefix the positive sign if the integers have the same sign. Prefix the negative sign if the integers have different signs. To divide integers, we follow these steps. Divide the absolute value of both integers as normal. Prefix the positive sign if the integers have the same sign. And prefix the negative sign if the integers have different signs. That does it for dividing and multiplying integers, mga ka-learners. But hold on, we're not done just yet. In our next lesson, we will apply all we have learned to solve word problems. See you then!